wonder when Busy's coming back. First pick, Electrician. What a surprise. I wonder if they're telling her what to pick or if she's picking on her own. She's thinking about Galatius. She went Coco Molester. Coco Jester. Coco Chester. Oh, Nymph got banned. They probably want to, you ideally want to pick up a healing support against a Coco. Coco Chester. Heals counter curse so hard. What's a, what's a good healing hero besides Nymph? There's Rhapsody. Monarch. Oh, what? They have Voodoo and Monarch? Hmm. Well, that's 5 and 4 automatically. You don't play core on either of those heroes. Hmm. Galossius? Benzington. I was going to say either Pebbles or Benzington would probably be next. Agent lineup looks pretty standard. Hellborns is interesting so far, but they can really pick anything with those zeros. Not sure how I feel about Voodoo Jester 4. I think it doesn't really... I think it should just be a 5 Voodoo Jester, but they have a Monarch. I wonder if we'll see tri -lane. People have been tri a bit less lately. I feel like with these heroes you can still do 1-2-2 two, two if they want to. You know what Marloni, I feel like when people tri -lane, like it's really easy to mess up tri -lane. So a lot of the times it's safer to just do two yeah. dual lanes. Or even run a jungler, but junglers are usually making things harder. You know, a lot of the times I've seen the jungle being ran in in-house, they don't even bother the jungler, and then the jungler free farms. Ah. So, so junglers have actually won quite a lot. Like when people pick up a Tempest or something. Yeah, your free farm. Yeah. Well, there's a Legionnaire, but... Oh, maybe that's why they have the two supports. They're going to do Legionnaire tri-lane. Or maybe... Maybe they just do Legionnaire solo and then Nomad with one of the supports and then maybe like Voodoo with the other hero or something. Moa. He says Moa. I think they, they need more damage. Victory, victory, victory! Wow. Yeah, hello, Busy. Welcome back. I'm streaming, Busy. You can watch. Is you a fine game? I'm streaming. The in-house. Oh, you are? Yeah. Okay. Why? Why not? I haven't streamed in forever. Are you streaming on Twitch or like... Yeah. Oh, then I can't say the N word and stuff. You should not say anything racist while I stream. That <laughs> no, I'm, be... joking. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm <laughs> joking. 
I'm not a racist. Holy they picked shit. up a pyro. Okay, is it pyro four or pyro two? Let's see what the next pick is. They really, they really need damage though. I mean, pyro, elec, benzy could be a trike war, but what, what are you writing to me, man? Oh my god, it's animal. <laughs> Magnus. Okay, I think it's. I think it's Magmus 4 and Pyro 2 and Elec 3. I think that's what they're going to do. Maybe they try lane like this and then they do Elec solo and Pyro mid. But they could also just do like Benzi Pyro. Can you stream just... in disc since your stream is delayed? Yeah, it's like, a, speak? One, it's like a one yeah. minute delay. I can yeah. try. I don't know if it'll hurt my... Street. If it hurts, you can just turn it off, I guess. I've never tried actually streaming like two places at once, but it shouldn't, I think. I don't think it's. Oh, they last picked a drunken master. Man, why do they have so much physical? They have like no spells. Like, Legion can just buy armor and voids if they want, and. The only yep. thing they get touched by is the curse. <laughs> like, so who you give the edge to? Player wise first and then draft wise. Player wise oh. Remake. Oh what? Mm. Oh, uh, then maybe you don't need to stream, I can just join. Oh yeah, okay. That's good. You can just join. So it doesn't hurt your Twitch stream. You can just join the game then. Uh I go meet. You go what? Oh mute. I thought he was saying I thought he was calling mid. <laughs> I same. I, I thought I he said I go mid. I thought he said I go mid and I was like Yeah. Huh? <laughs> oh my god. I'm like, hmm, he's mid. Victory. <laughs> All right, so actually, I mean, so what? They had a legionnaire with voodoo, monarch, and then a drunken and a nomad. I don't think you ever want to leave the nomad solo. That's the thing. I think, like Elec or Pyro. I guess nomad could probably solo against Benzink then okay, but if it's Elec or Pyro, I think nomad loses both to to both of those heroes. Or even Magmus, right? If it's a Magmus core and a Pyro four, which I don't know yet. Yeah. But uh, I don't think. So I I don't know if they want to run Lijo Trilane. Actually, I think they maybe just send Lijo solo, and then what was the other hero? Is it a Drunken? Drunken should be solo, right? Like you never want to. You really think don't. Drunken is not his mid hero, right? You really don't want to dual lane the. Uh... The Nomad. So it's kind of weird. Like, do they try lane the Nomad? Do they do? Dual lane with the Legionnaire as well? Like, I don't know. I don't really like the picks too much. I feel like with the Legion lineup, they have more flexibility on how they lane. But the only thing is they're running a Benzi solo, like the Benzi one roll, which it works, but I'm usually not as big I think fan they of have the edge early game, mid game, and late game. They have so much lockdown and like stuns and bursts. If Ele gets a good start, that hero is so hard to deal with too. The only yeah. thing is, I don't really like Pyro Core. I feel like it's kind of weak. Why do people say that? I feel like he's super strong. But then again, like if it's a support, he still can do the damage, I guess. Yeah. Maybe it's kind of waste putting him on Core. I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm, maybe I haven't seen it like do well enough times. I think the only time I saw Pyro Core do good was the time you played it with I me. I played him. And it was... Uh, what the fuck was I? Was I uh, Ugi or something that game? Yeah, you were Ugi. Were, were, you, yeah, yeah, were yeah. you even on Busy K? What what name were you on? No, no, I was on the Busy only, not the K. I need to find this game. It was actually a long... Oh, it wasn't that long ago. Oh, I played Silhouette that game. Yeah, you had a Wait, really what? good Pyro game. Yeah, it was the game where Henke kept roaming for you and then I was like 2v3 top. Yep. <laughs> I was like kind of struggling, but not really. 
Uhe? Victory? Right. Uhe? Weren't you Ugi that game? Or no, it was I... actually Silhouette. Wrong game. The game I was Ugi, you were dead, but I just remembered. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right, actually. You are right. Are we waiting for one guy? What's going on? Wig, you need co caster, busk CPK. Who said that? I'm here, man. I mean, if you want. Oh, I'm all chatting. Whoops. Busy, it's here. Busy, my co caster. They're starting 4v5. Hello? Oh my god. You know, my name is also David. Oh, yeah, so that's, that's right. Funny. Who here? The two Davids. David Jones. Wait, maybe I should. There's only that. room for uh, one David here, unfortunately. Wait, his last name is actually Busk, right? It's David Busk. I have no idea. What the fuck is going on in this? I need to mute one sec. Okay. Oh, can they start already? What the hell is going on? Oh, is it Mendeley we're waiting for? Mendeley! <laughs> Fucking Katagon trying to join, what a troll. He's watching my stream. <laughs> Justin, you little bitch. <laughs> Trying to sneak in. Alright. Let's go. Alright. I think this is a Magma support at a Pyro mid. Mana oh, Mandalay is playing carry. I like it. I like it. Mandalay on carry. I always see Mendeley play three or or like five. It's fun to see people play other stuff. And then Mate is Nomad. Oh, it's not Sate on Drunken. It's Sate's playing Legionnaire. Okay. No, you're not Moa, you fuck it. Wait, what? Oh, is that why they remade? Was it supposed to be Moa? I thought it was Legionnaire. Oh, okay. That actually changes a lot. Okay, so they don't have a Legionnaire anymore. Now their draft is actually making a little bit more sense. Because they can try lane the Moa or dual lane the Moa and the Nomad now. Drunken is definitely a solo. Okay, it's it's starting to make a bit more sense, actually. With what the... happened? Why do they have an MOA? Yeah, that's what I was just talking about. So, like, I think that's maybe why they remade. Uh, and, oh. and I was saying how now their lineup makes more sense. Because with the Legio and the Nomad, you don't want to, like... Like, I don't I know how to explain it. The yeah. lane the lane setup would be awkward, but I feel like Moa is kind of physical as well. Oh, yeah. Their lineup is still the same issues. It's three physical damage heroes. Yeah. They should stack up armor on Legion, and then they're, you know, they're taking a lot yeah. longer to for the Hellbird to kill them. But uh, yep. I think with this, they're either going to try lane the Moa or do, like, two dual lanes, and Drunken will be a solo somewhere. So I guess... I think the last is what they're gonna do. They're yeah, gonna Hansi put Sate mid on Moa, and Hanzi's gonna. Wait. But you always do solo drunken in this lineup, right? Like, you never duel lane them. I think they're fucking it up. I think Nomad and Monarch should predict the tri lane and go bottom and send drunken top. Because in this, oh, like, yeah, right Benzie? now, yeah, they're gonna lose. Benzie tri -lane. They're gonna lose both side lanes and win mid. It's not worth it. How should Drunken do against Alec, though? I mean, I think Drunken can do okay. I think Alec wins the lane, though. But yeah, he can probably do fine. If you look at Legion's lineup, is it like super obvious they do aggro Benzi? I think so, right? Byron yeah, mid and Alec short. I think so, too. Yep. So they should they should probably send Drunken up to here. And... Yeah. I don't think it's worth it for Drunken to get a better start and Nomad to have a bad game right like with this lineup you probably want nomad to have a good time yep i think in general when you pick a nomad you always want nomad to have a good laning phase because he needs a you have to he needs a clay yeah, ref to farm like you can't really yeah. go a different farming item on a position one nomad so 
Like, you can go Knuckles and Ghosts and all that stuff and fight with your team, but you're not going to transition without a Cleaver. So you need a good start, and I think they should send him bottom. They should know it's a Benzi tri lane. Like, it's, I think it's pretty obvious with their picks. Maybe they're thinking, like, Drunken can do well and MOA is going to win mid, so they can, like, Force take one over of the, the game. Force so can... leave top. Otherwise, the more... I actually would, I actually would like... Voodoo to go bottom and do a lane the Alec with Drunken. MOA can do fine mid, I think. <laughs> stun? Why Benzi don't. Why Men Men of I have didn't no stun? Idea. I have no idea. They could put Nomad down to like. 45% maybe there, or 30% with the chain stuns. And then he can't farm because he has no health bot. That's interesting though. Menelay on carry? I don't think I've ever seen that. I've seen it a couple of times, but I was saying how usually he plays 5 or 3. And I like when people play other stuff. It's it's fun. We get to see like if you know if they play well. But they're going on Voodoo. Okay. I don't think they should try it in their... This is not good. But isn't the Benzi challenge still stronger? 3v3? Yeah, it is. That's oh, okay. what I mean. So they actually got Bloodlust on, blood on Hellborn, right? Yeah, actually, it might. It could work. If they, like, initiate the Nomad and Monarch saves, they would have so much damage, actually, with the curse. Maybe they can, like, turn. I don't know. It's so awkward to put Nomad in Trilin, I feel like. I think Bosk wants in. Yeah, I can pull him in. You can pull him in as well. He's, it's, oh, he's in general. I can pull him in. I can pull him Hello, in. Hello, David number two. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> this is David one. <laughs> I'm David number one. What do you mean? Uh, he's Hello, older, David I think. Two. I think he's older than you, Busk, right? No, there's oh. no way. How old are you, Busk? I'm 27. I'm 28. Yes! This is David one! <laughs> Easy. Easy. Wait, isn't y number one always the youngest guy? Oh shit. Hmm. How does that work? I came Wait. to planet Earth before you, so I'm number one. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me guys, how, how hard does Alex shit on Dragon? Uh... I don't think it's that bad, is it? I don't know, I haven't played the matchup, but I feel like Alex should... Yeah, look. look I think at it's the... pretty bad, actually. <laughs> yeah, maybe it is, actually. Well, what if uh, Elec was Busk and then Drunken was still Hanzi? Would it change anything? Yeah, I, I think so. Drunken would win then. <laughs> yeah, pretty hard actually. <laughs> I okay. think only Kraken and Salforis can kind of match up against Elec. Wait, what if uh, Drunken was Eslan? Because Eslan's a nasty Drunken player. I think it would be even then, maybe. Then it would be even? Probably. I mean, Drunken isn't that weak in lane, I think. I mean, Elec just... has the short lane advantage as well. I mean, Elec, yeah, he should really win this lane. What do you think about the Nomad try lane? Isn't that kind of weird? I think it's pretty weak, to be honest. Like, yeah. the hero doesn't have a stun. And doesn't have anything. Nah, he doesn't offer that much to the try lane, I think. The Benz is really strong, I think, in the try lane. Yep. I feel like they should always, they should never initiate. That's a good double stun for Mag. Yeah, but no yeah, this is how they win the try lane with Monarch W, I think. Yeah. Full, full curse on the Benzington, and the Nomad's yeah, actually gonna live. He had oh, Melodix on him, and he went in again, like no reason. Get him, Sagre! Come on, Coco Molester! Oh no! I mean, this is this is disaster this is a for disaster. the region. Yeah, it is actually. Oh wait. Why did you go back? Oh no. Oh man. How's mid going? Hey. 22 and 9. Mid's winning on uh, Sate and Moa. But, but they were 2v1 for a little bit, I think. Yeah. I think Pyro wins that lane though. Damn. Pretty hard actually. Elec has 39 CS at 4.5 minutes. That's fucking crazy. That's Pyro creeps, should really. Too, right? Yeah, Pyro definitely wins that lane if it's a pure 1v1. Yeah, he wins it. I think quite decisively as well. Yep. I don't think he missed any creeps bottom actually. 430 GPM. It's and he's farming creeps. the small camps. 
efficiently as well. Probably, yeah, the medium, probably, yeah. Yeah, and the small camp. I've seen him clear it two times. Wow. Yanko Beast. That didn't sound right. Busk, did you check the ladder <laughs> as of yesterday? Did you get ahead of me? Hell yeah! I even passed mm -hmm. the, the baguette. Damn, bro. Yeah, I'm smart. What happened to Django's rating, man? I think he's on a, on a Novi streak. He's a a Novi he's... streak. <laughs> Come on, man. I mean, that's one way How to do it like that? Describe, describe it. So the question is now when Drunken is 6, how much damage does he do to Elec? I'm curious. I think Drunken is look dead. At, look at this damage from Elec. This hero is so retarded. Oh, he, he has a mana for a leap. I think he's already got Bottle and Mana Ring at under 6 minutes. Yeah, <laughs> it's, but, uh... it's disgusting. <clears throat> if you're Drunken, you're just like, oh, I don't know, man. I can't even lame at this point. But does he get stomped so hard in the first like three levels? I feel like that's where he can compete. Like Hanzi was what seven creeps against like twenty or something. Didn't he just get like oh. really outlaned in the first few levels? I mean Hansi is still three hundred. I don't know if it's good or not, but I feel like it's still fine. But Alex should never have like, almost not 60 bad, creeps. I think just yeah, Alex so ahead. Oh, they got Moa Shield. Perfect timing for mid lane. And they use Cocoon, but he still dies. But they're trading core for support. That's so good. I I think Legion should win laning phase. They're kind of fucking up. Hasted, yeah, they're uh, really fucking up. Hasted, sought the Chad. Coming in. That was a really good rotation. Yep. The haste rune coming in. Making it easy. Pyro. He might die to Pyro though, look at this. Yeah, he's trying to figure out which target to go on here. Yeah, the monarch just isn't it, I think. Oh Oof. no. Oh, come on, man. That's let, me, so let me check the pings. I always like to check uh, pings. 140. <laughs> oh, he's actually got ping like me, though. I give him a little... I cut him a little slack. I guess. Patrick doesn't have uh, you guys fancy I EU mean, ping. Didn't Slicks play on 300 ping? He oh. still hit all his spells. Oh, come on, man. Slix is like a dinosaur now. True. Man, Sate's like, what? Why is there a Magmas here? He just smoked and ran away. <laughs> hmm. Do you guys think Hanzi's asking for a gank? I don't think so. Like, <laughs> I don't think they kill him even. They, like... they probably need three people to kill this guy. What rotation killed him? Maybe Voodoo plus Voodoo Curse, Mo not like higher than level two. And then like maybe Moa with like a DD rune. Yeah, I don't oh, know. Man. The DD. Nice. I mean, if Moa throws the goo, Elec has zero ammo. Then actually, Drunken does true damage. Maybe it'll do that. True. Poor Menele, he's not having a good time. His creep kills are good. 40 creeps with 3 deaths. But. Uh. But the Nomad's farming way better. Don't think he should be 0 3 in this lane, though. Like, the Nomad has less last hits, but they have more kills on top lane on Hellborn. Is Voodoo maybe underrated in Trilates? I think he is. That curse is so strong, actually. Yeah, but I'm also thinking about like the bouncing stun. And the bouncing stun. Quite yeah. good as well. It's not a hero for me. My bounces would only hit creeps. <laughs> I I'm think on, Voodoo is a really good hero against Elec as well, to be honest. I think the curse is... Get him, Coco Jester. Yeah, he's dead. See, the thing is, they, they pick the Voodoo like first pick, and I said in draft, like when you say Voodoo, you should pick a healing support to counter the curse yep. damage. But they didn't even try, to, they didn't pick any defensive support. I think when you have a Voodoo on the other side, you want a defensive hero. Just kind of nullifies the curse. Is it too early to call this GG or what? I feel like this game is over. Mm. What, what do you mean? Well, Alex doing really well for Legion, and then the other two lanes are doing well for Hellborn. So it's kind of... Oh, even. wait. I'm branded, actually. I thought Alec was in Hellborn. Never mind. I feel like this game is really even, actually. Yeah, it is. I thought Drunken was in the Legion team. That's why I was like, it's GG. They lost Dude, okay, look games. at Alec. He's 455, 455 right now. And he's yeah. going to be almost 500 after this. Like... Yeah. 
So he's gonna have yeah, like a timing where he gets his staff and he's gonna be like a raid boss and then Nomad I don't know, it's Mata, he always goes like early knuckles, I think. I don't think he'll go cleaver right away. Oh you got a quadruple stack on the medium camp. Dude he's he's gonna be five hundred GM now. Yep. Really farmed. Jesus Christ man. Holy shit, I don't think I've ever seen ten Dude, minutes five hundred GPM. The zero is almost always banned, I think, uh, lately. Yeah. I, I haven't played against him, but everyone says it's so strong, so I just ban it every time I'm captain. I think he can carry this game, to be honest. Yeah, maybe. And he kind of counters the Monarch as well. Yep. True. It's a server. Europe, Sweden. And I think actually Electrician is really good with the, with the Bensington as well. Mm -hmm. Yep. Because you get three seconds set up for the ulti. Can Alec purge MOA ult? No way. Yeah, I'm I think pretty so. sure he can. Oh Actually, man. Actually, he, de he definitely that's... can. He can That's purge so the shield, disgusting. But not the can. buff from MOA, I think. No, 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 but the shield, I mean. Yeah, he purges the shield, I think. Wow. You can purge it with, like, Sand Scepter and No Fire, too. I guess. Hmm. That was a good kill on Pyro though, he killed the Nomad. Did he say catch this? Yep. Oh, I just lagged there. Oh, Sate's letting him deny tower for free. He's probably not too happy about that play. Can can it, we get any Sate impressions in the in the caster box? Uh, I think I'd rather not. I think it would sound really something like, what am I doing? I will leave the the uh, Sate impressions to David number one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Look at Gianco's form. He's, he have a staff soon. What the fuck? I think he uh, def like how how are they gonna kill him? I think he, he I he's gonna carry this game. Don't you guys think? The Legion wins. Uh, maybe. Yeah, cause like Hellborn is all physical. I feel like if they get oh my god, Nomad didn't do arm? anything to him. Did you see <laughs> oh that? He, didn't even... he tickled yeah. him. And, yeah. and you know he has curse ground on. And it just oh my doesn't god. do anything. He's like, what? He doesn't have magic armor either. Like, what is this hero? It's actually disgusting. I think you're right, Busk. Maybe I meant GG for the Legion team, not Hellborn. Man, I it's actually don't see disgusting. Hellborn winning this. I just think that he's gonna take over the game. I've I've played against it one time where Janko had complete free from Alex. So is dead. We couldn't do anything. They just killed Nomad and uh, Moa. Those and the, the Moa. And Drunken. Those are all the heroes that were doing okay. Oh man, yep. it looks so bad now all of a sudden. What the hell? And actually, Pyro is almost 400 GPM. Mm -hmm. he's not, this he's is why I like Pyro either. mid though. Oh. Let's see Hansi. Oh, I think Hansi killed him here. Oh, he's out of mana. He's weak. Yeah, he oh, is. this is gonna be so huge. Come on, Hansi, get him. Oh, man. That's that's actually massive. He just saved his team. Janko was really greedy. He stayed for two more creeps than he should have. Mm -hmm. They're stealing some of the stacks here. Pyro's got haste and spell shards. I do think that uh, level 3 null five late from MOA can do some work to the Alec. Mm -hmm. It looks like he's going to go for it. I like it. Uh, he, I think he goes uh, staffs first. No? Oh, Don't yeah. you feel like staff oh, yeah. first is better? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you always go staff first because you need the attack speed. Attack speed and the stats kind of good. You are but your correct. ulti just is so much better when you have a... Uh, When you have the uh, right stuff, yeah. I don't like the knuckles nomads. I was just thinking. I was gonna ask if the knuckles is a debate item. I feel like the zero just really needs cleaver. I mean, uh, uh, 
It's a really bad item if you have zero charges. It's a really good item if you have five charges. Yeah, I guess that's true. Right now, it's a really bad item because it's uh, zero charges. I mean, if he bought, if he rushed Cleaver, he would have it like in two minutes, and then it would be super good. So that's twelve hundred. Another twelve hundred in his inventory. That's and then like the Cleaver almost... would be like another fifteen hundred. Yeah, you can get fifteen hundred in like three to four minutes, right? Yeah, but it just got delayed for no reason because he's not fighting anyways. The landing phase is over. It's actually really I smart of them to just ignore him, not give him any charges. Mm -hmm. oh, I guess they're trying to decide whether or not they just kill the game or not, because apparently everyone's lagging. I guess when you spec, like I can't really tell if they're lagging or not. Can you guys yeah, tell like I, uh, their movements no, are like I, weird? I, I, I can't. Yeah. Do you think Mate knows that they're losing? That's why he's saying we should look, look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Can they kill him? Nope. Magnus <laughs> is dead. <laughs> Holy shit. He didn't die. He, he actually just got didn't the staff. die. Oh my but Menelay died. So that was three for two. They did lost... he just tank three heroes, Maledict, and a tower? And yes. Die? Yeah, he did. What the hell am I watching? Man. What's this fucking Waza what? champion? What does he buy after the staff now? Alec? Yeah. He... Is he going more tanky? Go like a... I think I like Arm of the Mad Mage because they have both Nomad and Drunken. Oh yeah, yeah that actually makes sense. Pretty good this does game. he does he care about a PK? Not really, right? He just wants to be. I don't a think boss? so. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Makes sense. I'm trying to think of alternatives to that. I, I think that is actually the best item you can go right now. I usually buy like puzzle box on this hero or PK, but it doesn't really fit the whole carry Alec kind of role. Ah. So I think he goes more of what you were saying, the Mad Mage. And his stuff. It's also really good with his team. Does he even go like damage. a frost field plate? Would that be good? It's armor and mana pool. Man, I remember when Icon was a thing on Elec. What happened? I think, I think frost field would be the next best, but it's just not as good as arm of the mad mage. Mm. Yeah, because it gives him more damage output, and it's a little cheaper. Yeah. Actually, it makes his entire team do more damage because they have so much magic damage, right? Yeah, it's like an aura, right? Yeah. I yeah, think he would buy the armor, armor, armor minus magic armor. Yeah. He would probably buy the armor part here. Because he's only not. Ah, uh, investment is good. Investment for the curse ground. Is anyone from Legion lagging? It seems like it's mostly Hellborn having lag. I think it's a bit laggy, but I think Mate knows they're behind. And he wanna get a remake, because Gianco is so far ahead. Yeah, I don't, I don't see them winning this one to be honest. <laughs> so he got the staff on uh, MY8, That's very good. He does need a level three nullfire blade, I think, to do anything considerable. I mean, to I, I think, I think if it goes late, I think they win on Hellborn. If Nomad get like three items, they have a tricor. They yeah. can. I mean, they're yeah, they can just really ignore well. the Elec and kill the team, and then Elec. And he's all alone. Like they, they have really yeah. easy targets to kill, right? Like Mag is gonna have no stats. Yeah, Glacius Pyro is super squishy. PK. Glacius dies in one hit. Even Manalei dies. Pyro's super 900 fast. HP, so they can kill these people really fast. And it, that's kind of how Nomad wants to play too, right? Like he wants to kill the supports fast, reset his W, and then yep. keep killing. I don't he went blank. I, I, I don't mind that actually. He thinks he's in tanky enough, I guess. Hmm. Yeah, so if he goes that route, probably want to see them start playing for kills. Then what do you think of the Pyro team. build? The Striders spell shards 3. He probably could have went... Oh, he wait, could... what? Wait, you don't upgrade the spell shards, right? You keep it 1? He probably could have went 1 into Blink, which is what I think you were just going to say that. 
I yeah. usually go one and then I buy something else and then I go back and upgrade it if it's needed. Level one was probably enough. Does he even Holy need to shit. pyro ulti there? I feel like just stun Phoenix wave is enough. I had five people. Definitely. <laughs> Catch this! Yep. This is what I meant with Nomad, because his knuckles did literally nothing, and he just delayed his cleaver. Mm -hmm. yeah, it was really and he's bad farming thing. anyways, yeah. Like, the thing is, depends how you play the hero, I think. Because uh, if you've seen Thon play Nomad, he always picks up knuckles, but he will always get the five charges. And I think yeah, if you then do it's... manage to get them, then it's really good. Then it's good, I agree. But, but I feel like how this game was looking, he's not gonna fight anyways. So yeah. I think he had a good idea this game because they were fighting a lot early, but then the fighting just randomly stopped. So I give Legion credit for like not fighting into his knuckle pickup. Pretty sure that wasn't what they were thinking. It just happened randomly, but yeah. Yeah, but either way, it's what they did. Yeah, true. I mean, they were fighting a lot before he got the Knuckles. That's true. Now, so Mandalay, Sate is almost 500. Mandalay's got Knuckles and he's got 5 charges. Uh, the problem is also, like, even if he gets an all 5 blade now on MOA, I don't think he will be able to auto-attack because they have so much lockdown on Fidget. Yeah, he probably needs Shrunk as well. Sate's got to beat his both... team. <laughs> right. I guess so. Upgrade, upgrade, build the jester. Coco molester. Dude, voodoo with eggs is fucking crazy, man. It's insane. It's actually insane. But he needs some levels, though. Man, I just realized nice. voodoo is level seven. Well, he should, he, he should buy Tom. Yeah, and we can't see if they have used it. They probably they haven't. haven't. They haven't implemented implemented so casters can see the wards uh, or tomes. Just see certain teams shops. It would be nice. We've asked for it for ten years though, so there's that. <laughs> <laughs> he missed the whole creep wave with the spiral stun. <laughs> 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 oh god, it's not dead. It's so funny. I mean he's five hundred GPM, he's doing good. Yep. Okay, actually he's going a uh, BKB and uh on MOA? Something. Yeah, I think that's correct though. But he just kind of need do... to survive. Man, look he at the base tower. Damage. They're actually almost killing it. Yeah, but I think he has to kind of fight when Nomad is farming, and with Nullifier he just dies. Oh, he went post this on Pyro, so he probably wants to split push, go for pick off. Mm -hmm. There is no way they kill this Elec here. No way. Show me. I want to see it. I mean, if they do it, then I don't know. No, that's Man, am I crazy? Yes. I think Zero he chance. could kill them both. No, he yeah, he can. Both. What? Oh, he... oh, well, if they had the post this from... Uh... Yeah. Man, he should have baited it, but I guess he didn't know. He didn't know how many were there, I guess. He knew MOA was mid, but that's the only one. There we go, I'm on the bad mage. I really like that. It's a great pickup. That guy's blink. Do you think it's grief if he goes like demonic next? Yeah. He should get like a sheep or something. Maybe. I think That's it... a great ulti. Oof. Yeah, they just die without shrunkers. Is that a game losing team fight? Yep, probably. Honzi went PK and drunken. I don't know if I the like reason... it. Like, the thing is, um, busy. Right now, he has 52% physical damage reduction. And when he activates his armor, the Mad Mage, he will have uh, probably like close to seventy percent physical damage reduction. Yep. So like, 
I mean, the demonic was more like for the team. I didn't mean it for himself. Because they're he only would, uh... physical in the Hellborn. I think actually he's more tanky with a, with a hex. Because of the Is it mana, I guess. Eruption? Yeah, maybe you're right. Yeah, and, and you, you have X, so you will always have your shield on. Yeah, you're right. Oh, Hans is slayed Menelay. I mean, this game is over. Yeah, they can't do shit to Menelay. What a disgusting hero. <laughs> Holy moly. But, like, he also got to farm, right? Yeah, yeah he was reformed. I still, I don't know. Do you guys think, think he should have won that? Played or... I think Voodoo should have played bot. They should have dual laned him with Nomad Voodoo. And put Drunk in top. It's actually, I don't think the hero does. He, he doesn't do well in, like, in a suicide position. The drunken, you mean? No, no the I mean Alec. Alec. Yeah. yeah, that's what yeah. I mean. If he they shot no him down early, then he can't do anything. Like yeah, that. I agree. It GG. I guess we're queuing. Sate can add this game to his list of he played well, but not well enough. <laughs> I feel bad for Sate, actually. That's, but it's true, it's not like the loss was his fault. No, it wasn't. I would say he did. He did fine. Him and the pyro were pretty much equal. In terms of like, he was ahead. In terms he of was like, ahead of pyro even. Yeah, and yeah, he went. Yeah, he went mid, early. So like in terms of GPM and impact, I think it's about the same. For both yeah, mid players, uh, Monarch, getting caught. Run, Hansi. What do you think about the blink drunken? Yeah, I don't, I don't really like it. I think, yeah, it's, I think it, doesn't, oh, it doesn't make sense to go shamans into PK. It's not so much that PK is bad on Drunken, it's when he's buying it, I think, that makes it bad. He's not tanky enough, and he's not dealing enough damage. But I can understand why he did it, though. Look at his team. Yeah, who's gonna, they be, need some who's gonna be engaging, right? Yeah. But right. honestly, that, that draft is just really bad, I think. Yep, I told uh, Busy and before you came that the they, had, That's they, had, the sad they had no magic damage in their team at all. It's three physical yeah. cores, so they could, they could literally stack armor and uh, voids if they wanted to on Legion. I mean, if this was a real game, their tri lane gets raped, and then the game is literally over after five minutes. They actually won their tri lane, and it's still yeah. like this. I just feel like both Drunken and a Nomad, they kind of don't work that well. Together. Look at Alec, man. Look at it. What a stupid hero. Man, he's literally taking no damage, but he's losing his mana. Yeah, so once he's he got gets zero, HP bars. zero mana, he will take a lot of damage, actually. Yeah, he's got a few HP bars. Mm -hmm. Oh no, the tier 4s are dying to creeps. Maybe the lag kind of fucked up Nomad's game as well, because he died three times for no reason. It's true. I believe it. So maybe, yeah, uh, because he was 4-0, then he was 4-3. Imagine you're playing a Devo and you throw a few hooks, but it lags at the wrong time, and then you miss some kills. Kind of ruins your whole game. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm being serious. Like, that that can actually fuck up your game. So what do you guys think of the twin blades, nomad, no shrunken? And, against and five still, stunts. and still zero charges on knuckles. Un unlucky man. <laughs> oh oh no. man. zero charges, thirty minutes. Oh, man. oh that hurts to see. Segre's got tablet recipe. I love you, Segre. Oh nice, oh. he finished it. Oh, did Men Yes, Menelay soloed him. Oh Man wow, that Menelay was beast, man. Actually solid nomad, I give him props. How did he know he was there? What the hell? He Menelay. used dust, right? That's how I saw. No, no, the, when he ulted. I mean, he cleared the wave, but there is no wards. Maybe he saw him walking to the shop. 
but it was still such a random move. I mean, B it works. Busy, I, te I tell you what, that is what separates a tier 1 player, I mean a top 5 player, from a top 30 player. Nice. Menelay is top elo, so... Menelay True. is top 1 player, Busy top 30 player. Menelay is so underrated, man. I mean... You wanna run he's, one? he's actually carrying me a lot of times with this <laughs> Golden Veil. I mean, he carries everyone with Golden Veil. I mean, there have been games where he doesn't have good Golden Veil games, but a lot of the time, I look up at the scoreboard and all of a sudden he has like 15 kills. Busy, do you actually think winning a 1v1 against a player makes you better than that person? No. I mean... Mechanically, maybe, yeah, but... See, I don't, I I don't 1v1 anyone. Is such a small part. And this is why Busk likes face me. It's actually like a, a under half, but people value it like as if it's 90% of the game. Yeah, and I agree. Really, it, it matters very little. As I long agree. as you don't get completely shit stumped, it doesn't matter if you lose like two creeps. Like if he gets two or three last hits more than you, it literally doesn't matter at all. Busk, I remember the other day when you put me dead with suicide and you were like so impressed that I won my lane. <laughs> and then I told you I missed like seven rotten grasp, and you, uh, you were even more impressed. Like, what the fuck? You won your lane and missed all your skills? The thing is, we won all three lanes, and I was expecting you to get smashed. Really? Why? No, maybe not smashed, but I wasn't expecting you to dominate the way you did. You the, were owning. Does Kraken beat Deadwood? I actually yeah, don't I think he should. I actually don't yeah, know how should. it's supposed to go. I feel mm. like Kra Kraken probably has a little edge, right? I don't know. I can't really say for sure. I haven't played Maybe, that matchup enough times. I think... Actually, I have no idea. I feel like Deadwood can kill Kraken, and Kraken can kill Deadwood. Well, I mean, Deadwood isn't bad at 1v1, actually. I'm just... Like, the splash is just kind of... Uh... Really obnoxious. Who who was the Kraken player? It was... Uh, Nog. What does he play? Does he play support or solo? Maybe. I have no idea. I feel like if it's like a support player on Dragon, then of course Deadwood's gonna rip him, right? Yeah. Poor Satim, man, he's really trying. Oh man. Unlucky game. That's game. Sat is killing uh, Magnus. He ain't done playing, man. Easy. Alright. Do you guys remember when you could solo Kong the one as Pyro? Oh yeah, you place a ward in the oh, pit yeah. and then you stand on the hill, right?